Thanks for joining us for the ICAST New Fishing Gear Guide. I'm Jeff Weekly, editor of Florida Sportsman Magazine, and I'm here talking to my old friend Mark Mills, field marketing manager for Daiwa. Mark's talking to us from Daiwa's North American headquarters in California. How are you today, Mark? Good, Jeff. What's going on, buddy? Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I've had a little sneak preview of some of your gear, and I want to hear some more of the specifications about what we got out here. So this is the new Saltiga lever drag. This is our largest one. This is our 60 size. Um, it'll hold a 80 pound test um, right at 660 yards, almost 700 yards of 80 pounds. So plenty of 80 pound, um, 550 yards of 100 pounds. So um, tons of drag pressure, all one piece machined aluminum frame. So it's not die cast or anything like that. It's machined aluminum. Keeps it very structurally stable and everything like that. What we've done to this reel also is inside the reel, We've used all polished cut stainless steel gears. It's very smooth, as you can hear. You pretty much can't. There's none of that whining or cranking that you do get with lever drags. So great gearing inside this as well. The other big thing is we put the Daiwa CRBB bearings in this whole reel, corrosion resistant ball bearings. So it really will hold up well in the elements for offshore fishing and saltwater. Um, other thing that we've done is that right here, inside here, we've added a bigger throw bearing. So at high drag pressures, where you've got high drag, you still have a very easy handle to turn. You don't feel that lug slowness that you get from that. Easy shift mechanism from high speed to low speed right there. Um, also, you're gonna see that on the big reels, the 50, 55, and 62 speeds all use this handle. Um, and this is actually kind of like, I guess we're gonna call it kind of a salt and pepper type handle. It feels really good in your hands. You got lots of power, lots of torque. The good thing is that it doesn't give blisters on your hands, even in here, the way it's shaped. It is probably the best handle, even better than some of the JD handle, JDM handles you see on the market. So it feels good, looks good, great mechanism. Um, you've got a detent button right there, so you don't have to worry about going over strike on that. Reversible lugs, so the lugs are out. You can take them, put the reverse lugs in, and there are no lugs, so depending on what, what you want as an angler, but great reel, tons of drag pressure. The two-speed here uh, will hold 45 pounds of max drag pressure, and that's at full speed, free spool. As you can see, it's got a great free spool as well. So on that. Tell, tell me about line pickup with that reel. What's, what's your retrieve ratios on the, uh, the two-speed? Well, on the two-speed, you know, it's much lower because you got your low speed, and what you're doing is you're getting power and torque. Uh, we do a 6.2 and I think a 2.3 to 1 on the two-speeds. But when you get into the sailfish reel, which is that one's here, we do a – this one here is the 50. We also do this size here for more line capacity. Um, different gear ratio. So this one only get a max of uh, 22 pounds of drag for the sailfish guys, tournament sailfishing. You're also going to see that it has a rubber T handle. That's so you can get the speed that you need. Yeah. This reel really here on the 55 is a 7 to 1, but gets 56 inches per crank. So you can pop it out of the kite, reel those fish in. If you got a fish going one way and it's coming to you, you can pick it up really fast. Uh, the 60 has a little bit lower gear ratio and gets right at about 50, I think 54 inches per crank. Still a lot, but a little bit more torque on the bigger reel, especially the guys on that will fish 30 pound mono. This is more like a 20 pound mono yeah. in this ring. And that, um, that, that, op that open arbor design there is good too for managing line when you're kite fishing. It really is. You can drop it back. It's easy in and out, dropping back. Uh, easy to manage right here. You don't have a top. Um, tops can be difficult as you're, you're in the kind of thing. You yeah. guys know what very, very well in your market. Um, but like I said, this good key handle feels really good. It's soft touch. Um, you'll find this on the smaller two speeds and stuff too, and the single speeds. But the figures, the 50, the 55 and 60 all have this handle here for that extra power, extra torque that you don't need the speed. Um, but like I said, we've done a really good job of this. Been redesigned. We've been actually testing them for two years in Venice, Louisiana, Florida, and here on the West Coast, um, catching bluefin tuna up to 240 pounds right now um, on these. So it's it's been good. It's been an excellent deal for us when it comes to that. Sounds good. Well, Mark, thanks for meeting with me today. I'll look forward to maybe getting you down here. We'll see if we can turn one of these barracuda into a wahoo or something for you. I like that. Well, you guys have a good time. Keep fishing these. I appreciate being on the show and going through this stuff and spending the time for the new product showcase. And hey, thank you very much, Jeff. I always like to talk to you. And Hopefully we'll see each other soon. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. See you later, bud.